Arya has been a blind beggar in the streets of Bravos since she lost her sight in the Hall of Faces. The waif shows up daily to torment her and beat her with a staff. One day, after being hit by the waif, Arya tries to strike back with her rod, only to have it caught in midair by Jachan Hagar, who has been watching. He promises that if she says her name, he would provide her shelter, clothes and have her eyesight restored. However, Arya resisted the temptations and said that she has no name. Satisfied, he tells Arya to follow him, and that she is a beggar no more. Back at the house of black and white, Jachun observes the waif fighting with Arya and is pleased to see Arya successfully defend herself while still blind. He offers to give Arya her sight back if she says her name, and as before, she says, a girl has no name. He calls her to come to him at the central fountain, fills a cup from the pool, and hands it to her. Arya hesitates for a moment, knowing that the water is poisoned and meant for those seeking a quick and painless death. Jia Chun reminds her that as someone with no identity at all, she should be completely void of fears. Arya calmly drinks from the cup, and her sight is restored. After explaining that the original faceless men were the founders of Bravos, previously slaves of the Valyrian freehold, Jia Chun gives Arya the task of assassinating Lady Crane, an actress in a troupe, and implies that she will be marked for death if she is not successful. Arya reconnoiters her target at a play caricaturing the War of the Five Kings, and notes that Lady Crane is the only one who drinks from a certain bottle of rum. The two agree that poisoning the rum will be the method of assassination, and Arya proceeds to poison Lady Crane's rum at another showing of the play. When Arya prevents the assassination from occurring, Jia Chun gives the waif permission to hunt down Arya. While pacing the atrium of the House of Black and White, Jia Chun notices blood on the ground. He follows the trail to the Hall of Faces, where the trail stops at a new face on the wall, that of the waif. Arya sneaks up behind him and points needle at him. Jia Chun does not offer resistance, and even walks into the sword's point. Though she rejects the tenets of the faceless men and reclaims her identity, Jia Chun is pleased with her conduct by fully deeming her, no one, and allows her to leave. 